Ladies, gentlemen, meatbags alike, welcome back to DSX Human Revolution. Last time, we uh, paid off a uh, relatively nice of lady's uh, debt, making sure she's off the hook of a uh, organized crime syndicate, mainly to get some information off of our uh, good old associate, friend, buddy, pal, guy, friend, 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 person, broken windmill. Now let's go pay our uh, good old buddy friend pal pal buddy buddy who uh, who wild something 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 friend guy. Let's go say hi to him. Make sure that we don't have any quarrels with him. No quarrels. So, how's the loading screen work? It does its thing. Uh, how's everyone doing? Hopefully, you're all well. I'm doing okay here. Alright, so we got, uh... People I could just, you know, beat the shit out of. What do we have over here? Anything behind the vending machine? Nope. Jensen. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know, it, I didn't do anything. Trust me, Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Uh, yeah, I am concerned. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn, she was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. She, she's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed, murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Well... I'll put Verhoeven onto the side. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. <laughs> I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Limb Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. 
but he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9, got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Right. Due to Dan Parker's cancer, my visit to Prague was related exclusively to the project which has consumed all of my attention these days. Let's, Let's go. go. Uh, 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 Let's find our way up to uh, 901 or whatever pot it was. Steps up to make things better. Our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination of iron We caught up there. We got the information. Let's get back down. As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with Hugh Darrow, log on to www.hypersweb.com. Hmm. A little picky. Don't mind me here, friend, buddy, pal, guy. Don't mind me, uh, sneak in. Well, shite. Now, how about this one? Let's start with uh, fortification. Take. 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 Come on. Good, okay. Get some uh, credits, not bad. Alright, we'll try this again with... Uh, Alright, that's 55... 15. 15. 15. 15. Access grant. And no one's the wiser. All right, so yeah, back to Malik's thing. We'll head over to their uh, local limb.
I believe we have the credits if we can buy any proc to have practice over there, so we'll do that. Make our lives a bit easier. With more enhancement. I feel like the only place to work around here is CYM. I don't feel like being a part of the machine. Excuse me, do you know where the LEM clinic is? You're referring to yes, the Hensley and Hazard, big cooperative global initiative that aims at Excuse healing me, our world. Sir. Do you know how to get... Alright, what was the phrase? Death and life have their appointments? I think that was the phrase. Lim International welcomes you. Buy some practice. Very nice. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh. They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Alright, well, we got our uh, practice. We uh, delivered a line. More loading screen. Yeah, if only I actually had a chat, like an actual chat window, but I do all this recording in advance, so, uh, eh, whatever. It doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have to retract my remarks. Over here! Come on, now! I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, though not exactly what I was expecting, I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here, take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use, because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Mm. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. 1,000 credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? Uh, I was not informed, but they did provide the information. And what were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. Never mind. Just take your money. This report better be worth it. Oh, I assure you it is. Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, right. Nice doing business with you, X. Uh, I 
got the praxis, so uh, let me just slap these in somewhere. I actually, yeah, I got like three praxis. Let's, uh, let's slap them in somewhere, shall we? Uh, we could do... Uh, I'm just kind of thinking carefully now. Better social? I suppose double takedowns would be handy, so I won't have to stress about waiting for people to actually separate. And we'll put the last one there with the hacking F5. Report. Just gotta skim through all this. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. All right. Let's, uh, beat up a wife beater. Julia Dubo has contacted me personally to deny allegations of involvement in secret United Nations meetings held throughout the United Kingdom. This is the place of the Nation of Science. My visit to France was related exclusively to the projects of the Indian Civil Rights Union. Now, if only we can actually get ourselves in the right direction. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. Mm. Our best chance of doing this is to modify ocean temperature through a combination of iron sealing and geothermal management. Forgive me, Mr. Dane. Uh, let me f f uh, use the map. Alright. Um, let's see. Many people believe that the uh, far, uh, there, so let's see. If that is there, that would be... Okay, a little backtrack in here. So, from here... 
to here. As soon as the installation is complete. If you would like to hear more of my exclusive interview with Hugh Darrow, log on to www.pikesweb.com. This is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live from Pikes. Just want to make sure I'm heading the right direction. It doesn't happen often, folks, but it appears that I may have. Off we go to beat up a wife beater. Heading in the right direction now, I believe. Or maybe I, uh, wrong way. Okay, yep, looks like we're heading now. Our destination from All right, so we can backtrack from here there down here around destination is there so 15 we do 15 Waiting, come on, do your thing, do your thing, do your thing. Access there right. we go, you did your thing. Let's see, anything behind the fridge? Nope. 
Nothing in the closet. Can't interact with this, I guess. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. The computer that I can now interact with? And there we go. Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Alright, so I guess there's something else for me to look around in here. Huh? Oh, just faucet. All right, never mind then. A clock. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. Anything else? Answer machine? Hive? I should have guessed Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll make one last sweep. Make sure I got everything. Alright, so we got a clock, answering machine, um... Anything else? A bat? Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe we washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. Alright. Let's uh, be on our way to the hive. And here I was thinking I would just find Lee in his apartment. I'd just punch him right in the face. No questions asked. 
But that wouldn't exactly be professional without actually having enough evidence to actually go for it. But part of me, you know, the just, you know, one of my fingers is having a little bit of a curl. It's just, you know, having a slight twitch of uh, wanting to just sock the guy in a, you know, full on punch to the face. Knock knock, I'm coming in regardless. <laughs> Time to finally Malik, I'm in the hive. What's your plan? Find Lee and talk to him. I want you to convince him you know exactly what he did to Evelyn and why. If you can make him panic, I'm willing to bet he'll spill his guts. Just make it look like blackmail. If he's willing to pay to keep you quiet, he's basically tying his own noose. I'll listen in and record everything. Got it. All right, well, let's find the boy. You harvester, civilian, civilian. So I see this guy laying on the ground in the alley, all beat up and shit, with blood pouring out of his shoulder. The harvester must have yanked his cyber on right out of his sock. Damn. Oh, nice wine. I'll take that. Drink in moderation, yo. Alright, uh, you're a civilian, you're a civilian. Hello, Lee. Let's save the game before we progress. What do you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's all. I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Hmm. Inconclusive. Because the police report revealed inconclusive blood spatter analysis. Meaning the wound that killed Evelyn happened before she ever fell down those stairs. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. Uh... 
You said it was a well-known fact that Evelyn was clumsy, and this was just an unfortunate accident. Man, now I know you're full of shit. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit, and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? Where's the clock? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? Uh, threatened to get your family involved into the relationship? She wanted out? Uh, I hate to say it, but I think it's a pregnant thing. She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Uh, Lim. Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day. And her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her. I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out. So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and... and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice! She trapped me! She just wanted my money! I would have been ruined! I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? Wh what? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Alright, well, uh... That worked out nicely. Let me, uh, do a little save. Hey, buddy. Lee. Lee. Ha! <laughs> and no one batted a fucking eye. Ah. Uh. Malik, please tell me you got a uh, oh, well, never mind. recording of all. Never mind, they noticed. But well, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm quite satisfied with that. Let's uh, roll back. Roll back. <laughs> I feel better from just that punch in the face. We'll let him be this time. Two good punches of two different parallel realities. I'm gonna say we're satisfied here. Alright. Let's get Malik, out of here. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. 
Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. <laughs> Malik, I feel like I know what you're gonna do, and I'm supporting it. I am supporting it, Malik. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, let me just uh, do a safety precaution, you know? See if I can get this right. So we got all the way over there. One, two, three. Okay, so. Easy does it now. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. <laughs> oh, how satisfactory. So much satisfactory. So satisfying. Uh, we'll wrap up the episode as soon as we're done with uh, our Lee problem. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two. Malik. Just watch. I don't, I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch. She's going to ruin me. Malik, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. Success. All right. Well, let's uh, do a little quick uh, apply of the praxis and uh, get on with our lives. Or, you know, end of the episode, shall we? Let's start with, um, let me see if I can find it. It should be... No. No.
You know, I'll figure it out in, in between episodes. Anywho, thank you for joining. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Even if you don't, I wish you all a nice day. And until next time, take care.